Welcome everyone. This is just a quick video on a recently installed Mark II Android radio by Phoenix for the Q50. Um, just want to kind of um, go over some issues that uh, I had. Um, I was able to resolve quite a quite a few of them. Uh, one of them was. Um, the sound I was seeing it, it, it was over amplified. Um, we had some crackling in the Bluetooth um, and the mic, and resolve that. There's some videos out there. You go to the advanced menu and had it working pretty good. I got the 360 camera working. This is, this is the hybrid model, but my wife wasn't too happy of, with the, the launcher out of the box. She wasn't comfortable with it. Didn't have hands-free, you know, the messaging. She wasn't too fond of how the quality and uh, the looks of the stock hands-free calling app. So I decided let's make it like something she's used to which obviously the iPhone um, and I put an iOS launcher on it um, actually runs really well um, pretty smooth um, might even be a little quicker than it was but that didn't solve the other issues she's was having with it so I decided well CarPlay is really the only solution so we'll give um, CarPlay a shot had issues with it did not like iPhone X it would disconnect all the time. Um, if I found out that it didn't disconnect if it wasn't charging. If you get to the point where it's, it stopped charging or you get a cable that would say, hey, this cable is not compatible, and so basically didn't charge, then it worked better. Um, I was able to uh, go into settings, and there's a, a weak mode, and there's a compatible mode, but I turn those on. Uh, the screen wasn't as nice, um, and the weak mode seemed to keep it from charging, and it worked great, but her phone would be dead. So really, not really a solution, but at least I realized, hey, the product can work. It's probably something with issue with how the iPhone X handles charging and um, And how CarPlay works in, in general. Uh, the iPhone 6 Plus, which I, which this video I'll, I'll be using, my wife's old phone actually didn't have as much of an issue. It seemed to be a little more stable. It, um, it actually <laughs> sometimes just would stop charging and then um, w w would continue to work. So I, I don't know if it just stopped charging and at the, at, at the, about the same time the iPhone X would would stop charging, reconnect, and start charging again. And the iPhone 6 seems to just quit charging, but kept on working. Um, so I figured, you know what, probably has something to do with the charge as far as, you know, the charger, or the phone's pulling too many amps and um, not giving the pumpkin module the power it needs to function so this this is the the carplay adapter um, it also does android auto and this is the y adapter i made to supplement the power so that's that was my my test and it ended up being a, a pretty decent solution so i have a power cable here i have a data cable here then i have the the uh, the adapter that combined the two um, and how I end up wiring it was this just had the positive and negative uh, on the ground and this had just the data um, receive and send I'm, I'm assuming but anyway the green and, and white wire connected to this and then the ground connected to all three and that provided the the necessary signal to for the phone to recognize hey I'm plugged into the uh, the CarPlay unit and 
um, and allows the charger to recognize so it can start charging. Um, you don't want to tie the positive between all three. You're going to cause probably either an over volt, a back feed, or over voltage during the charge. I'm not sure, um, but I wasn't comfortable with doing it that way so I had to do some testing to see if it would actually charge without that positive and, uh, uh, and, and it seemed to work fine and uh, stabilized it quite a bit so I'm just gonna plug this in we'll just show you CarPlay real quick on the Phoenix radio just see what it looks like um, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, plug some of this stuff in I'm gonna try to do it, do it with one hand here so I'm gonna take this uh, wire adapter I'm gonna plug um, the power into a car charger. Now the onboard, you know, the OEM USB connections seem to actually work fine. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this uh, um, CarPlay adapter into one of the Phoenix's um, USB ports here. Okay, that's plugged in. And I'm going to take the other wire adapter, which supplies the the data into the pumpkin unit. Okay, there we are. And the only thing left to plug in is. Uh, communication cable to the phone. Let's go ahead and plug that in. I have an app on the phone too that gave the charge, the current, you know, the charge rate and did some testing and actually charged really well better than expected okay okay i'm going to ahead and plug the unit in and let's go ahead and unplug it i actually had it on the configuration page when you do that it, ain't, it won't auto launch okay there we go so okay plug it in there you go carplay kicks on and we should get connection here I'm um, not getting the best uh, LTE signal, but we'll see. We'll see how it works. Um, let's go ahead and just launch Pandora real quick. And I just got some music that probably won't be flagged. There we are. Sounds pretty decent. I'm able to browse around here and and on the phone. Um, lock the phone real quick. Again, browse around. That seemed to work fine. Go back to CarPlay. Let's go ahead and pause that. And let's go um, to uh, Siri. Um, that I had issues with that. That was crackling a lot. That seems to. What's the weather like tomorrow? It's currently cloudy and 23 degrees in North Liberty. So it sounds a lot better. This will be fairly consistent, and, averaging about 23 degrees. And the mic seems to pick up fairly well. Let's go ahead and uh, try this map. I know that not the best connection out here. I did. I do have a little bit of an issue with the, the, the GPS um, picking up very well based um, on the where I located the receiver, which I should have done a little better job um, and put it a little higher up. I'm gonna have to do that later. And looks like uh, I only got one bar. Let's turn Wi-Fi on. Oh, there we go. So you got enough to uh, to load the map. There we are. Okay. So it seems to work pretty good. It's smooth. No disconnects. So my wife actually, 
she's she was pretty happy about it. So if you guys have any questions, just let me know. Um, have any recommendations or some ad advice? I'd love to hear it. Um, you know, if I can get this thing, um, all the bugs worked out of it. Should be happy. I'd be happy. And uh, um, but I'm pretty happy that I got this, and I'm pretty happy that I uh, gave CarPlay a shot on this unit. Um, I admit I'm a little, I'm an Android guy and I'm a little jealous of CarPlay. Android Auto is just not as nice. It doesn't look as nice. Um, I don't know. It's just, uh, I, I like the layout of the, of the CarPlay. So anyway, just, uh, leave me a comment below. I know I don't do this, this kind of stuff very often. So, uh, figure I'll, uh, put something out there and, and, uh, thanks for watching.